Restore Thrive, we're back. We are talking about banded, resisted, rotation lunges. Why is this important? One of the things we see is that there's a real gap in terms of late stage rehab and even prep work before we go out and do things like play our sport or train that takes into consideration the complexity of how the human body moves. So when we think about human movement, it is not just happening in a straight ahead motion. We have three dimensions of movement and so many of the things that we do in the gym and in rehab only happen in one plane, whether that's the straight ahead sagittal plane, whether that's the side to side frontal plane, or whether that's the transverse or rotating plane of motion. So what this lunge is going to do is really challenge you in all three dimensions. We're gonna take a band here, and I'm gonna start by wrapping this around my left side. Now think about when I have this band around me, what I'm really testing is can I keep myself square or do I rotate into that resistance? So for the lunge step here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the leg on the same side as the band. We're gonna step back into that lunge shape and make sure as we do that, that we're not giving and letting ourselves rotate before we step back up. So we like to do this in a couple different ways. When you're first doing this movement, we can do this for five to 10 repetitions. And then over time, as you get more proficient at this, we can do this for an endurance um, index of one to two minutes. So start with five to 10 reps. When you feel like you can do that without much fatigue, switch from counting reps to start timing that movement and aim for one to two minutes per leg.